Robbie, a late win at home today. Games don't get much better than that, do they? Um, <laughs> the results don't come much better than that. Doesn't help matter how you win. Um, I felt it was a, a fairly scrappy game for, for large periods. Um, we we knew that it would be difficult in terms of um, how how Cheltenham would probably play and put us under pressure with balls into the box and um, looking for for knockdowns and second balls and at any level, but particularly the level we play at, you have to earn the right to to take part in the game and then to try and show that you're, you're a good football team. And I felt first half, we uh, it was a tight game, you know, it probably a draw would have been a fair result at half time and obviously they've, they've managed to get the, the noses in front. But at the same time, I felt a little bit disappointed that we didn't get to play our football. We probably dragged into the, the game that they wanted to play a little bit too much. So we spoke at half time, nice and nice and calmly, showed them a few pictures on the on the screen there of, of what we were expecting and where we think we can hurt them and to get the early goal in the second half is great because it buys you time, it buys you a little bit of settling, settling time and from then on I thought we were the better team and you know probably deserved to win. How pleased were you with that reaction from half time? I mean it wasn't just one chance that you scored as well, there was three or four within that first couple of minutes though. Yeah, we, we think we've got good footballers in the team and um, no matter who plays and we want them to get on the ball and express themselves. And I felt we did that a little bit more in the second half and like you said the early goal helps. I think we had a chance just before that was a great block. Um, and then, like you say, it, it, it just buys you a little bit more time, a little bit less panic. Um, you, you start working your way up the pitch a little bit easier and like I said, I, th I think we deserve the win in the end and uh, to get a late winner is always nice. And how pleased are you for both the strikers to get their goals today as well? You want your centre forwards to score goals um, and you know, two, two well, well crafted goals, two good finishes and it's not been easy for, for Andy in particular, he's not probably had the minutes that he felt he should have and all he can do is go onto the pitch and have an impact and, and he did that and, and Big Emil you know, we, you know, you you put the ball in the right areas. He's going to be a threat, and it was a fantastic cross, great header, and so yeah, we're really pleased with that. Um, f pleased also with the way that we saw the game out. We we ended up with a, a very probably inexperienced team at the end, and um, probably not the biggest team in the end, with all due respect to the lads that went on, and obviously the pumping balls into the box, and you have to stand up to that challenge. And I thought they did. I suppose the most pleasing thing for the strikers as well was. We say it was a tight game, so there weren't too many chances. So the chances we did have, absolutely taken them. If you're clinical, yeah. It's so, um, yeah, we showed we showed that clinical edge today, and it's you know it's obviously pleasing to come out on the right side of, of the result. I thought the two centre halves were outstanding. I've got to say, Stokes he was was fantastic, and, and Theo was his, he's just carried on the form that he's shown all season. And um, you know we've never used we've never used the the schedule and the injuries as an excuse. So I, I just see it as opportunities for new players, but it has took its toll. It's it's not easy to travel in that we've done and you know stuff things like the late nights getting home and then you're back on the road again. So to come back to our to our home ground and, and get a result is is a, e even more satisfying. Yeah, I mean particularly with Chris Stokes there, he's played four, obviously four games in fourteen days. Uh, he didn't have a massive pre season because of injury and everything. He's come in, he's been thrown in and especially you know, four games down the line, still be showing that class that he did today. Yeah, and you know, he shows touches of class, doesn't he? You know, he's um, just little little experience sort of moments where he, you know he flicks it back to Will and settles the, the defence down. And I think as well, we've with the injuries that we've got, we've lost some quite big characters and big voices in the change room. And it's not always easy for players to come in to, to have the same um, sort of personality if you like so Stokesy with his experience you can hear him talking all the way through the game organizing that, that's invaluable as well so yeah really pleased today we've got to dust ourselves down we've got another busy week but um, nice to be back back home in Barrow and, and get three points and after a long couple of weeks with lots of tough games to be now joint top of the league and right in amongst it it must be really pleasing of course um, like I say, we, we feel that we, we can mount a challenge to, to sort of be at the top end of the, of the, the league. And um, I think the division is crazy, isn't it? You know, we, we go to, to Gillingham and uh, we get beat and then they get beat at home to Grimsby. And so it seems like everybody's taking points off each other. And I think there'll be a, 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 a good significant amount of clubs that will be in that bracket. And we just got to make sure that we stick in there and, and keep on picking up points and 
Um, that's the that's what we're trying to do as an objective. We set the team uh, blocks of games and can we reach this points tally? And that's how that's how we go about our business. So yeah, another busy week, mate, and back on the road on Tuesday. But let's let's enjoy tonight and and look at the table and think, yeah, we're in a good place. With how crazy the league is, with results happening, which many people might not expect coming into today, left, right, and centre, does it just make today's win that even bigger? Well. I haven't actually seen the other results today, to be honest. Somebody's just told me about where we are in the, in the league. And, yeah, it's good, but do you know what? I wasn't so downhearted after the, the previous two games because the team's good and I'm not jumping through hoops today. So always try and keep that level sort of feeling. Go through the process. The, the performance will always pick up results with the players that we got. Um, and like you say, if we're, if we're in there in another 10 games, so 20 games, then you start to think, oh, what might be? Thank you very much. Cheers, mate.